the returning of African artifacts in European museums. The plans to bring back African artifacts in European museums are in process. The spark of the process is considered to have been ignited by the French President Emmanuel Macron in November 2018. Macron promised to return objects looted from their African homelands. Starting with 26 artifacts of Dahomey, now Republic of Benin, taken by colonial military leader Alfred Amity Dodds in 1890. Debates have been ignited among a Western museum professionals who fear returning African objects or assign their precious collections will be gutted. The feelings of unwillingness to comply in this case complicate the restitution and repatriation process. The British Museum is an example cited to be unwilling to the repatriation and restitution of African artifacts that are held in bondage in their museum. However, groups like the Benin Dialogue Group, National Commission for Museums and Monuments were created to craft a solution to this problem. The arrangements to dialogue and get a solution to this problem seem to be in vain. This is because many European museums and collections are currently protected by assertions of unalienable and imprescriptible right, prohibiting them from permanently handing over accessioned objects. For example, the UK museums do not have a single as agreed upon protocol for dealing with repatriation requests. Should these be supportive reasons for Mawazulu Diabanza, a Congolese national and the leader of a pan African movement called Yunka NKU, meaning unity, dignity, courage, to carry on with his active diplomacy? Diabanza has been fined and jailed for entering museums and forcibly removing pillaged African artifacts. Him and others in France entered the Key Branly Museum in Paris, which has around 70,000 objects from sub-Saharan Africa, shouting, we're taking it home. They wrenched from its setting a 19th-century African funeral post that belonged to the Bari people of Chad. Police recovered the object and held Diabanza in custody for three days. He was fined 1,000 euros for attempted theft. In the Netherlands he attempted to remove a Congolese statue from the Africa Museum at Berg en Dahl. He was given a two-month suspended sentence and 250 euros fine. Over the phone he said, the prosecutor had wanted me convicted to discourage others. But the judge recognized that I was not guilty of theft, but a political act. He opened doors to discussion with the museum authorities. So, I'm going back to the Netherlands with the idea of discussing this. However, Diabanza is not concerned if his movement leaves European museums empty. He described the removal of art and cultural objects between 1880 and 1960 as a vast operation of theft and pillaging that came just after Africa suffered one of the greatest crimes against humanity, slavery. He is not opposed to African and other objects being displayed in Europe. But he wants them returned first and then can be lent on their owner's terms. Should active diplomacy be the way? After all it yielded results for a talk between Diabanza and the Africa Museum Authority. Or should we wait on the talks headed by the Benin Dialogue Group and the National Commission for Museums and Monuments? Not forgetting that some European museums and collections are under protection by assertions of inalienable and imprescriptible right. Prohibiting them from permanently handing over accessioned objects. Objects they too know were wrongly obtained from Africa by their own people. Should violence be applauded as more effective than peaceful means?